Welcome back, everyone. I have our lesson 11 for us, dividing a decimal by a whole number. So you're going to find out in this lesson that it's really similar to dividing a whole number by a whole number, like my last video. And I think you're going to feel pretty confident about it because we can use all of the same strategies. I'm going to start us off with revisiting a real life example of math with my recipe that I like to make of nachos. And I love using real life examples like this with cooking because it just shows how much different types of math can be used in everyday life. So here's a picture of my nachos. I use chips, cheese, chicken, beans, jalapenos, and the total came to $12.87. Okay, so now we can see that the total of all my ingredients were $12.87. And if I want to know how much it costs per person if I'm serving the four people in my family. So you'll love to know that all the same strategies that we did in the last video, we're gonna do those again. We're going to do the same steps for division with uh, DMSB. I like to say daddy, mother, sister, brother, so I remember to write those letters. They stand for divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So same steps. I also made a four T chart over here so I could help myself remember that I need to know my four facts before I start. Okay, now since we know that it's the same steps as whole number divided by a whole number, if you'd like to pause the video and give this a try, we can talk at the end about the decimal point and where to put it in the answer. Okay, now let's go ahead and go. So the first step I do is just like the last video, I cover up everything but the largest place value, and I can see it's a one in that place, in the tens place, and I it's not big enough to make a group of four. So I'm gonna put a zero here, put a dot next to the divide, okay? Now I'm gonna multiply, four times zero is zero. Okay, subtract and bring down the next digit. Okay, and at this point, if you're having a little trouble following those steps, you might want to go back to my last video and I go through the steps a little bit slower. You might do really well watching that video first and then moving up to this one. Okay, now I get to start the steps over again, but now I've got 12 to work with. So that'll be easier to make some groups of four. So I can look at my T-chart and I've got exactly 12 is three groups. So I'm gonna put a three right here. Okay, four times three is 12 exactly. Okay, subtract, and then I'm not going to worry about that decimal point just yet. I'm still going to bring down the next digit, so 8. Okay, now I'm going to think about how many groups of 4 can I make with 8. Okay, I can make 2 groups. So I'm going to put a 2 here, and I can either bring up the decimal point right now or I can wait till the end but I know it's gonna go straight up into my answer so I might as well go ahead and do that now okay now 4 times 2 is 8 subtract bring down okay now 
I've just got seven to work with. So how many groups of four can I make with seven? So far, it's been exactly one of these numbers over here. But seven, I don't see that. It's not a multiple of four. So I have to think about how, okay, well, two groups is too many. One group I can do. Put my one there. Okay, four times one is four. Okay, subtract. Okay, and this is the point where I don't have anything left to bring down. So I have a remainder of three. Okay, and I can write that as a remainder three over here. And then I can think about how per person it's about $3.21, or I can round up to $3.22 because there's that remainder there. But that is a pretty cheap meal per person when I make nachos for my family of four. Okay, so now I want to see if you can figure out if we were serving this to just three people, three people were sharing the pan of nachos, how much would it cost per person? Why don't you pause the video, finish the three T-chart, and figure it out.